Well, this is new video into us this morning showing the Canadian delegation in Israel. A group of five MPs are visiting a kibbutz north of Tel Aviv as part of a larger Canadian delegation. Today, they listen to accounts of survivors from the October 7th attack by Hamas and are visiting a cemetery where some of the victims are buried. Janice McGregor is in Ottawa this morning, and Janice is tracking uh, this delegation for us. So, Janice, what, what's the reason behind these MPs' visit to Israel? Well, they're calling this a solidarity mission, saying that they understand why Israelis never want this to happen uh, again. There are five MPs in total. It is a, a bipartisan group. Two of them are liberals, Anthony Housefather and Marco Mendicino. And there are three conservatives on the trip, uh, Melissa Lansman, Michelle Rempel-Garner, and Marty Morantz. Uh, this is a larger a delegation, about 60 uh, from Canada in total. There are representatives also from the Toronto Jewish Federation, and the United Jewish Appeal, I, you know, all part of organizing this opportunity uh, to speak directly with Israelis on the ground. Uh, the MPs are taking meetings over the next couple days to get a better idea not only what happened uh, when Hamas attacked on October 7th, but also what Israel is doing uh, in response uh, to that. Um, they were meeting uh, with uh, families of the hostages, um, adding their voices uh, to those demanding their immediate release. Uh, here is Anthony Housefather. He was interviewed by our colleagues on the ground earlier after speaking with some of the survivors of the attack. It was really moving. It really made it very personal. It made me understand what it was like to live in a safe room, wondering if you were going to be alive for the very next minute or if your loved ones were going to be killed from moment to moment for over 24 hours. It, it, it explains a lot about the Israeli perception why the entire political class in Israel, from the left to the right, all believes they need to get rid of Hamas. And here is Conservative Michelle Rempel-Garner with her impressions of the trip so far. I think the, the humanity of the situation for me, writ large, underscores the enormity of the Hamas attack, um, the countless lives that it has impacted and the need for the uh, for the global community to to condemn those attacks and to ensure that there um, that there is some way forward that doesn't involve that type of violence. I'll show you a social media post here from Marco Mendicino, another liberal from Toronto. He was very much focused on how to stop anti-Semitism and hate, he said, on this trip, and also how to restore a path uh, to peace. Uh, the MPs say that they want to make sure Israelis understand that Canadians are allies, that they have been reminding them of the overall approach of the Canadian government, which, of course, includes a track record of casting votes on the side of Israel uh, at the UN. Uh, House Father also said he wanted to be reassuring them that they had the support of Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. And, and Janice, this trip does come as the Prime Minister, he's doubling down on calls for Israel to avoid civi civilian casualties, that is, in Gaza. And, and those comments, those earlier comments, they did draw some criticism from Israel. Put this into context for us. Yeah, and I, I have to note, this trip was organized before that controversy uh, last week, uh, when Trudeau provoked a, a direct criticism from Israeli uh, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. Trudeau maintains that Israel has a right to defend itself, but he was also expressing concern about how the operation in Gaza has been taking innocent lives. Reporters tried to clarify this uh, with him. I was one of them uh, on the trip uh, in, in San Francisco last Friday. Uh, take a listen. The concerns that the UN is highlighting about the humanitarian catastrophe that is going to strike millions of people uh, in the coming days and weeks, that's already affecting so many, is of deep concern to us. And that's certainly what I expressed to, uh, to Benny Gantz and uh, continue to express in all my conversations. I notice, though, you're not using the expression maximum restraint. Oh, sorry, Why maximum not? restraint. You see him leaning right into it there, holding the line, uh, not afraid uh, to say those words uh, again. Trudeau said there are a lot of things that are extremely worrisome. People around the world and Canadians are, are thinking, uh, you know, when they when they see this footage, that they don't entirely uh, understand uh, what's happening, and that when he speaks to the Israeli government, as he did again last week, uh, he asks for everything to be done to protect civilians because 
the loss of women and, and children in this. It's not only heartbreaking, it also, he said, impedes Israel's ability to come to a long-term, stable, two-state solution with the Palestinians.